And so that could actually make them seem more like a spiritual being. I mean, their technology supposedly, who knows, light years ahead, maybe a few hundred years ahead. We wouldn't really recognize, you know, the technology that they could be using, so. That's a great question, and uh, I appreciate your call. Uh, but uh, we're down to the last minute here, so I'm going to uh, close it off here. And uh, what we're going to do now is just talk to Tony Topping for a few seconds left. And uh, I wanted to get your opinion on the basic individual. Uh, YouTube's a great tool uh, for helping the little guy get his story out there. Uh, but is there anything else you suggest? you know, to really push uh, the movement from basic civilians without governments, without, you know, the whole stipulation of the bureaucracy behind it? Yes, I, I, um, yes, I, I think there's a lot. I mean, there's, there's, the Facebook is an excellent medium uh, for me. Uh, it's been an excellent, uh, an excellent medium uh, for me uh, to use. Uh, and I think the Disclosure Project is still making uh, massive inroads um, into uh, disclosure. I, I really, really don't know if there is any other way uh, to do it other than the course that is being uh, led down at the moment with the media being controlled in the way it is. Um, I know there's been various stories. Uh, I know Dr. Greer tells a story of when he was doing a major documentary and uh, that all got controlled and brushed under the carpet. So it is very difficult to try and promote, uh, try and promote the disclosure uh, of this. It's very difficult for me to try and find a balance of, of what happened to me in terms of my harassment, which we've barely touched on in the program, uh, but the actual issue of harassment with me and the mind control and the unaccountability and the corruption involved is the, uh, is the thing I would like to push uh, for myself personally, to highlight just what goes on in the mysterious prevention of disclosing this to the population. It's all well, you know very I, I, I would really like to, uh, if we can extend the show uh, I would love to, to actually touch on that harassment if, yeah. if you have the time. Uh, yeah, yeah, guys, yeah. What, what do you want to do? Ex extend the program? Oh, let's do it. Uh, let's, okay, let's all right. Take, yeah, well, yes, no problem. Let's take the people back and uh, really, you know, describe this harassment in, mm. in as much detail as you need. Mm. Mm. It, 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 I mean, it's, it's very... <sighs> It's very, very difficult to explain because it's a combination of the paranormal and the occult and the supernatural and mind control. Uh, genuine, hardcore, uh, traumatized based mind control technology that was used on me by people who um, are, have very sinister and elusive motives that are possibly in, in kind of public playing organizations that you would see in the mainstream media. For example, you've got this in your country, you probably, I don't know, you've got the intelligence services there, you've got the CIA, uh, over here you've got MI6 and all this kind of thing. Uh, these, within the compartmentalized security structures of these organizations, somebody somewhere targeted me with this technology. And uh, I, I think that the adage is noble exterior, secret interior with these uh, organizations. And I started having the objects flying over, and I started getting harassment and I mean real phone calls this kind of thing you know somebody on the other end giving a load of abuse for no apparent reason whatsoever the helicopters coming over and then I started getting when I was asleep mind invasive radio technology coming at me and I'm a radio ham so you know I know about radio technology and all this kind of thing and at first you think that you're going nuts but they used to time it round about three and four in the morning that hit me with it when I was in deep sleep, they'd just... If you can imagine, uh, Jason, somebody firing machine gun fire into your head, yeah. and, and you working up from that, then you get a, a, a kind of a, a gist of what gun sounds going off in your head. You know, and, 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 and you're right. Yeah. Uh, especially, too, with your REM, REM sleep, you need it to recover yeah. as a human being, so they're yeah. interrupting that at yeah. a key moment as well. Yeah. It, yeah, indeed, uh, and that's that's where the, that's where they were they were definitely hitting. It's the old ninja type of battle strategy, isn't it? Hit the enemy when he's in sleep, kind of thing, when they're most vulnerable, and and that's where they were. That's what they were going for, and this this was going on three and four in the morning, woken up with gunfire, screaming, all this kind of thing, and then there was an incident that happened to me uh, in a pub, where the gentleman in question, 
I did a very ingenious job of tracing all this. I can't prove it, but I did a very good detective job. I first of all knew, Jason, that this was a radio signal and that it had a source. The trouble I, the, the, I run the gauntlet because the, the trouble is with this is that it's not provable. That's why it's called non-lethal weapons technology. It's totally not provable. That You can't prove it. But I know what went on and I know what they did. And I was being awoken at uh, half five, five o'clock in the morning, all this kind of thing with this technology. And they identified themselves. They said, we are the police of the silence. That's what they said. We are the police of the silence. This is when I was filming these objects coming over. They didn't want me to know what these objects were or where they were coming from or who they belonged to. They didn't want, it, they didn't want me to know. I, I don't know why that was. And uh, there's been numerous incidences, um, just numerous incidences of this technology being used, and it's horrific. And words cannot describe the, the horror of this, this technology being deployed by an unaccountable force within this country and your country. Uh, and it's hugely, um, it's hugely controversial, and uh, it's not in the mainstream media yet what happened to me, but I've no doubt it will be at some point in the proceedings, I'm sure. Um, but the, the very corrupt individuals who are using this technology, and it's such a, it gets me so upset to talk about it that I can't even put into words, you just cannot put into words what went on. And a part of your mind's going, this isn't happening, and it is. You know, there's part of your mind continually going, this isn't happening, but it is. And they, what they'd do is they, they, they were, you know, the multiple personality order and all this kind of thing where they'd compartmentalize the, the personality and, the, you know, they'd, they'd be doing all that kind of thing. And I remember two of them came into a local pub, two people behind it. It's very, I just can't put into words how they 